everybody, welcome again to another video of basic fishing. Today, once again, I'm out at the Hibiscus Coast to try my luck on some snapper on the good old trusty Sunaku jigs that I want to use today. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would know over the last few videos now I've been using the um, the Kibera style jig and I have to say I am clearly obsessed <coughs> with that jig. But, um, you know, there are many reasons I'm, I'm obsessed with it. One is the ingenious way on using the jig in such a slow, effective way. And two, on how easy it is. I've got two out. One I'm going to be using, as you can see in, in this one. This one I'm going to be using to um, fish um, without doing anything. And this one I'll be dropping into the bottom. And, yeah, I hope that something will turn up. Because last time I did this it wasn't exactly too successful oh god I try to come out here early which you can see but um, I think I might be a bit late on the bite uh, which is not so surprising I'm not good as I used to be but I'm hoping that I get something good out here today because man, I'm pretty sure the last time I was out here it was a miserable condition not just the fishing but the weather as well so yeah let's hope for the best and stay tuned for the fishy action so I guess long story short the fishing in the morning was excruciatingly painfully slow Despite a great start to the day with low winds and beautiful sunrise, the fishing was god-awful. No matter what I was doing, I wasn't getting anything good, and not much of it either. Ah, a lot of small ones out there. There were a lot of evidence of fish activities. I even saw a huge sudden boil-up of kawaii just popping up right in front of me for a few seconds before vanishing and despite a lot of birds all of their work comes were too far away so that was a bummer as i mentioned my strategy for the day was mostly using the black magic slow jig the sanaku as a means to get the fish one was left on the rod holder while the other i was working actively i really enjoy using the slow jigs because i didn't have to work them too hard they were simple to fish with and they are great jigs to use for bottom dwelling species. Especially when you're fishing around 10 to 15 meters. But despite my best efforts though, it wasn't paying off too well. I was trying everything, including soft baiting, but that wasn't working out for me. Then out of nowhere, the wind picked up suddenly. And when I got home, I realized that it was a 13 knot wind. I gotta say though, I was impressed at how stable the kayak was. With the winds picking up, there were a lot of yachts sailing out on the water. It was kind of cool to watch, but always be careful not to get too close to them because even though this was taken from a distance, I'd rather not rush backwards on a slow kayak on a swelly sea. Oh god, that would be a disastrous end either way. Anyways, because of the splashes of the waves, I got pretty cold miserable and wet but i decided to shift spots and try a sandy patch area to try my luck on hopefully on some gurnet as well as snapper Finally! Oh, finally! So glad I set my drag. Jesus! Feels like a snap. Oh, it's, it's been frustrating. But it seems I finally got what I want. I finally got what I deserve. Oh, yes! Oh. Ah, the net. Oh. 
Oh, finally. <sighs> finally. Finally got a good fish after hours of misery. After working nearly hard all day, I finally got a fish. I mean, bloody hell. Yeah, I mean, getting this fish on the Sanaku at last, it's, it's a great feeling. Oh. Took much longer than I hoped, but hey, I got something at least. Oh. About uh, bloody time. Um, this is a solid fish, and so is this. Ah. Uh. God. Oh, yep. Oh my God, that's like a solid fish right there. What is this though? Oh, it's not a big one. You know what? I'll just get this one right now. Oh, oh, what the hell? Are you kidding me? That was so overdramatic. This one wasn't a good one. Gee, that's a good one. Let's hope this is a keeper. Are oh, you kidding me? Double hook up again. Ah, this might be a keeper. I, I hope. Have a look. If he is, I'll take him with me. I worked too bloody hard for today. Yeah, it's a keeper. <laughs> Got another keeper here finally on the candy floss color this time. Oh. Oh. Today has not been such an easy day's fishing, but finally getting something uh, I still, have it? Oh, still got it <laughs> oh, feels good when you finally hook into something good. Please be a good snaps. Oh, oh, it's a gurnet! Yes! Finally! Oh, another cool bike catch. This is the catch I always wanted. <laughs> the Naku is kind of cool. Check that wing out. <laughs> Check that out. And to think I caught it on the Sanaku, that's really cool. <laughs> Happy catch, everybody. Oh. Well. At least my mission wasn't a total bust, but even so, conditions like this is enough to drive you crazy.
Although I have to say, I no longer get seasick now, which is a great bonus. But anyways, wind picked up and I ended up drifting way too fast, even for the Sunaku to work properly, which wasn't ideal. And ultimately, I decided to call it a day. After all, I was exhausted after a long, tiring day of fishing in the cold. And I didn't even get a constellation prize while trolling back with the soft bait. Typical. Well, I'm pretty sure everyone would know by now the ride back was not pleasant. It was bumpy, it was wet, it was cold, it was miserable. And unfortunately, um, my trolling rod didn't pick up any rogue snappers around here, which is a real shame because I really could have used, I really could use another fish right now. Uh, not exactly the most pleasant days fishing. Uh, I hope next time I'm out here that um, I'll have better luck. Anyway, I hope everyone has enjoyed watching this video of me struggling out here. And if you have, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more fishing videos. Again, thank you all for watching and see you all next time.